Hey everyone, I'm Eric Hoffman of Hammond Wilson Architects in Annapolis, Maryland. And as the Vice President, President-Elect of the Board of AIA Chesapeake Bay, I'd like to welcome you all to our 2020 Excellence in Design Award celebration. During our annual recognition of some of the very best architecture the Chesapeake Bay has to offer, you will see a diverse range in both building types as well as architecture firm demographics. You'll also note the emphasis we place on our student community college program, which was judged by the same jury from AIA Savannah that judged our professional entries. You'll also see a very special message from one of our own AIA national leaders about our responsibilities as architects to the environment, as well as to our local communities. And in keeping with our mission statement to advance the architectural profession, to also enhance the quality of life for all people, and on behalf of the board of directors of AIA Chesapeake Bay, we are pleased to present our 2020 Excellence in Design Awards celebration. Enjoy. Our annual recognition of distinguished architectural achievement honors projects designed by AIA members within our 11 county region bordering the Great Chesapeake Bay and its tributaries, as well as projects located within the region that were designed by AIA members in other chapters. Our program also honors submissions of students enrolled in 2019 and 2020 in Anne Arundel Community College's Architecture and Interior Design program, now in its 51st year. A jury from AIA Savannah selected nine professional winners and six student winners in the 2020 program. So, let the celebration begin. Events such as this rely on the support of some very generous sponsors. Without them, our annual celebration of good architecture would not be possible. So, let's take a moment to recognize them. This year's premier sponsor is Bayview Builders, located in Annapolis, Maryland. Let's learn about them in their own words. At Bayview Builders, we recognize the art and excellence of the American Institute of Architects. When innovative design and building come together, the results are magnificent. We thank you, the architects and members of AIA, for 20 years of building together in the Chesapeake Bay region. As a premier waterfront builder, we look to your designs and creativity to lead the way. Bayview Builders, your vision is our passion. Academy sponsors of this year's program are Lynbrook of Annapolis, located in Annapolis, Maryland, and Willow Construction of Easton, Maryland. Our patron sponsors are Dana Insurance and Risk Management, Kitchen Encounters, Precision Property Measurements, Baker Ingram and Associates, and the Sub-Zero Group Mid-Atlantic LLC. This year, Lindbrook of Annapolis is sponsoring our professional People's Choice Award as selected by an online vote prior to tonight's program. Thank you to all of our 2020 Design Award sponsors. Throughout each year, companies like those sponsoring our Design Award celebration sign up for allied membership in the chapter. In 2020, just under 30 allied members have helped to support our many educational programs and other events throughout the year. Please remember to contact them when you need assistance in your projects. Leading the field as our exclusive Platinum Allied member is Pella Mid-Atlantic. Gold sponsorship is provided by Atlantic Control Technologies. At the silver level, we are supported by American Cedar and Millwork, Pyramid Builders, Quality Window and Door, Sierra Pacific Windows, and TW Perry. At the bronze level, we are fortunate to have the support of 17 companies to help keep us going and ensuring the continuance of programs such as this throughout the year. And finally, in-kind media partners work with our chapter to feature the work of our architects and allied members in their high-end print and digital publications. We are grateful to the publishers and writers of Annapolis Home Magazine, the Spy Media Group, and Home and Design Magazine for bringing the work of our members to the forefront. Thank you to all of our allied members. The Chesapeake Bay chapter of AIA is a small but mighty chapter, and due to our close proximity to the national headquarters in Washington, D.C., 
We have been fortunate in the past few years to have top national leaders of AIA as keynote speakers at our Design Award celebrations. The tradition continues this year as we bring you a special message from our keynote speaker, AIA 2020 First Vice President and 2021 President-Elect, Peter Exley. I'm really pleased to be able to address the AIA Chesapeake Bay Design Awards virtual celebration this year. I wish I could be with you to talk about your important grassroots work, to celebrate your achievements, to thank Kevin and the board for your leadership, and also to toast Melinda for her dedication to AIA. 2020 has ushered in a new normal that necessitates a new paradigm under this paradigm, it's not enough to wait on first responders to provide support after the fact. We must empower first adapters to prevent the worst impacts, to design communities that can weather any challenge, whether this relates to equity and justice, climate, pandemic, or otherwise. We are a profession of first adapters. We build, we retrofit, and anticipate. We build smarter communities and cities that empower, engage, and include. When we do that, we build prosperity. When we do that, we build equity. As I transition into the presidency of AIA later this year, I lead, but I need your help in this time of change. One of the ways in which you can do this is to adopt the cultures and concepts embodied in AIA's new strategic plan, which emphasizes climate action and catalyzes equity. It also expresses our commitment to revolutionize research and technology and to similarly revolutionize architectural education. It's a singular honor for me in this, to be in this position of leadership, and I thank you for your support your help, your leadership, and for your example as architects making a difference in Maryland's communities and around the world. Have a great event. Thank you, Peter. We look forward to your leadership in the coming year. The emphasis tonight is on design excellence and the teams who work together to improve the built environment. The professional program offers two categories for entry residential architecture and non-residential architecture. Within each of those two categories are two subcategories, one for new construction and one for renovation and addition. Our program also honors the design project and hand delineation submissions of students enrolled in 2019 and 2020 in Anne Arundel Community College's architecture and interior design program. We are pleased to support this nationally recognized program. In response to AIA's commitment to climate action, the four components of AIA Maryland introduced new sustainability questions to the 2020 Design Awards submissions, taken from AIA's Framework for Design Excellence. This year, we addressed five of the 10 measures, designing for integration, designing for energy, designing for equitable communities, designing for water, and designing for resources. The entrants were given the option to describe in a few sentences how their design achieved outcomes for each of these measures. The goal was to promote the sustainable design work of our members and to support AIA's resolution for urgent and sustained climate action. When selecting a jury for this year's program, we considered an AIA chapter that was similar in demographics to the Chesapeake Bay region. Frank D'Arcangelo, principal of DPR Architecture in Statesboro, Georgia, chaired a five-member jury from AIA Savannah. Frank assembled a team representing sole proprietors, residential architects, Savannah College of Art and Design instructors and graduates, and commercial and institutional design firms. They were guided through the process by our own board director, Professor Michael Ryan, the chair of Andrew Rundle Community College's architecture and interior design program. Thank you to Professor Ryan for your unbiased guidance and assistance, and many thanks to our jury from AIA Savannah, who had high praise and inspiring words for our entrance. 
Thank you to our jury from AIA Savannah. Hi, hi everyone. Um, my name is Frank D'Arcangelo with DPR Architecture out of Statesboro, Georgia. And uh, thank you for sharing your projects with us. Uh, I chaired the design awards for y'all this, this year, and we are all impressed with the, uh, the work that you have presented. You know, from residential new construction to uh, commercial uh, renovation and, even, and, and the student work. You know, it was all it was all very impressive, and we are um, we are impressed impressed with the work. I go ahead and jump in. Hey, hey everybody, uh, my name is Anthony Sissel. I'm the chair of architecture and urban design uh, at SCAD here in Savannah, and I just want to thank you all for all the hard work uh, that you put into these submissions. Um, as as Frank uh, started to say, there it, it, it was hard to decide. We had a, a really good debate um, uh, on every single project. Hi, um, I'm Hamilton Brindley, a recent graduate from the Savannah College of Art and Design. It was really an honor um, to view all of your work and uh, to participate in this. Some great submissions, really enjoyed it. Some great quality work and wonderful, wonderful diversity. Congrats to all the award winners. You guys really deserve it. Good job. Hi, my name is Pete Callejas. Uh, Homestead Architecture here in Savannah, Georgia. And uh, I want to thank you for your submissions. You guys have done a fantastic job putting these things together and uh, we really appreciate it. It's, it's an honor and a privilege to, to be able to look through these. Uh, we realize uh, how difficult it is to bring a project from the idea phase all the way to the end and executing the, the detailing and then getting to the point where it rises uh, to the level uh, of uh, award worthy projects, which uh, it was hard for us to decide because, uh, you know, we spent a lot of time, a lot of discussion going through each one in detail and there's some fantastic projects out there. So we really appreciate uh, your efforts and uh, putting these things together. Andy Lynch with uh, Lynch Associates Architects here in Savannah. Uh, I just echo the other jurors and uh, thanking you for letting me take part of this. It was uh, really exciting to see a, a very diverse uh, bunch of work from uh, from a chapter kind of similar to the size of uh, what we have here in Savannah. Thank you very much for letting us uh, be a part of this. So thank you on uh, behalf of the Chesapeake Bay chapter for uh, spending a very long afternoon and now into the evening um, debating this. Uh, your, your care in uh, discussions were uh, were very well done. So thank you. Thanks, thank Michael. You. Bye -bye. Thank you. The anticipation builds as we introduce our Student Design Awards program and the winners who rose above the rest. They were one of the first, if not the first, two-year programs set up in the U.S. based on needs and requirements established by the AIA in 1968. Professor Mike Ryan chairs the department and instructors include Rob Lowe, Brandy Shepard, and John Nullis. This year, AACC students submitted hand delineation entries and design project entries focused mainly on two themes, rendering ink and color drawings of three images of notable aspect of a chosen city and design of a youth hostel in Elk Island National Park in Alberta, Canada. Hand delineation exposes the student to the elements of the built environment while developing the student's sketching, rendering, ink and color, and presentation skills. The design project assignment results in a design proposal based on a concept. Submissions include graphics that indicate the process of design and how the final design solution was determined. Our jurors from AIA Savannah, Georgia, were very impressed with the students' confident ability in rendering skill, often a new concept for many students in their first year. We are proud of all 12 of the student entries and especially proud to announce our six award winners. Winning a citation award in the hand delineation category is Carlene Dahlman with her entry titled, Ink Renderings, Pittsburgh. Our judges found the entire package created by Carlene impressive and graphically consistent, remarking on the renderings and color of Highland Park, the St. Paul Cathedral, 
and the Union Trust building rendering. They felt Carlene was not only able to accurately portray the complicated detail of the stone carvings and terracotta roof details, but also impressively brought it to life to give this drawing a realistic sense of depth and to give the building's defining characteristics. Congratulations, Carlene, and kudos to your faculty sponsor, Professor John Knollis. Hi everyone, I'm Carlene Dahlman from Anne Arundel Community College. First off, I want to say how grateful and honored I am that my rendering has been chosen for an award. I also want to give a big shout out to Professor Nolis because without you, Professor, I couldn't have done it. I also want to say how much I appreciate the AIA Chesapeake Bay for giving us students the opportunity to be recognized and to excel in the field, so thank you. Also earning a citation award in the hand delineation category is Claudette Higgins with Ink Renderings, a depiction of the Sagamore Pendry Hotel in Baltimore, Maryland. The jury stated that the collection of work done by Claudette showcased her willingness to explore a variety of subjects in differing mediums. They remarked that the hard work and dedication it took in creating these pieces is evident when one recognizes the attention to detail in all of them. Our jurors felt that Claudette's building elevation highlighted the primary components of the building's composition, celebrating the details while showing restraint, while the interior perspective convincingly portrayed a sense of depth in the interior volume. Congratulations to Claudette and her faculty sponsor, Professor John Nolis. Hi everyone, my name is Claudette Higgins. I'm from Anne Arundel Community College. Um, the name of my project was Ink Renderings, and I chose the Sagamore Pendry Hotel in Baltimore as the subject of, of my project because I love the classic style of the building. Professor John Nolis um, was my awesome and amazing instructor as well as my sponsor, and I cannot thank him enough for encouraging me and for um, believing in me. Um, I am so very honored and excited to receive this award. It is such a great joy and a blessing. Thank you all so very much. Our final student citation award goes to Claire Purvis for her design project, Spirit of Community. Claire received high praise from the judges, for the jury was impressed by the site analysis and the three-dimensional model. The jury liked the continuity from the inspirational images through to the final model. It is good to see elements from the parky sketches transition into the final design. The model shows a good understanding of shape and space. The model materials hint at a natural beauty of potential building materials. Congratulations, Claire, and to your faculty sponsor, Professor Mike Ryan. Claire elected to have us read her celebration statement. I truly appreciate the recognition for this project. Being able to complete the project during a global pandemic could quite possibly be reward enough. However, this added bonus doesn't hurt. I can't wait to add it to my wall. I would also like to thank my mom for putting up with me in general. I appreciate it. Thank you from Claire Purvis, Anne Arundel Community College. Faculty sponsor, Professor Mike Ryan. Our next highest level of award is the Merit Award. We are pleased that our judges selected two projects for Merit Awards. Kelsey Smith's hand delineation entry, Ink Rendering, Pittsburgh, PA, caught the eye of our judges for the overall skill executed in each of her diverse pieces. They commented that the Mellon Square piece was captivating in the way they were able to convey the waterfall's flowing current as it stepped throughout the park. The water's variation in hues convincingly conveyed the sense of movement and immediately pulled the viewer into the work. The jury said that the United Steelworkers building rendering in Kelsey's entry was confidently done. The chosen perspective not only enhanced this piece's intrigue, but also allowed an opportunity for the student to display their skill as they executed this challenging perspective. Congratulations to Kelsey on her merit award and to her instructor, Professor John Nolis. My name is Kelsey, and I'm a student in the architecture program at AACC. 
I'm so grateful for the recognition of my hand rendering project titled Pittsburgh. I'd like to thank the judges as well as my sponsor, John J. Nolis, and my instructor, Brandy Shepard. Thank you all so much. The second merit award goes to Tyler Murphy. For the Wapiti Inn, Tyler's design project had sustainability in mind and impressed our jury with his goal for LEED Platinum certification. The jurors were especially impressed with the digital model. The model sets this project apart from the others. It gives the audience a sense of space for both the interior and exterior of the building. The proportion of the final model is outstanding. This is a fantastic building, a mix between Gaudi and Santiago Calatrava. The digital modeling skills are exceptional. Congratulations, Tyler, and a shout out to your faculty sponsor, Professor Mike Ryan. Hi, this is Tyler Murphy from Anne Arundel Community College, uh, and I just wanted to give a massive thank you to the Chesapeake Bay AIA and the awards jury for considering my design. Uh, another massive shout out to the entire staff at AACC, uh, especially Professor Michael Ryan, my uh, sponsor for this project. Um, you helped me so much along the way. Thank you so much. And finally, to our Student Honor Award winner. For the past several years, the Honor Award recipient has received a $500 scholarship check from the chapter. Last year, we received a matching grant from AIA National and were able to award a combined $1,000 to our Honor Award winner. This year, we are happy to announce that AIA National is again matching our scholarship and a check for $1,000 will be presented to tonight's Student Honor Award winner. It is my pleasure to announce that the 2020 Student Honor Award and a check for $1,000 goes to Mateo Escobosa for his design project entry, Sanctuary. The jurors felt that this project embodied the best of all the attributes the jury was looking for. This project had a great understanding of the program's requirements. The students showed a great thought process from the site analysis to party sketches to the party models and then to the final model. The judges all felt the structure shown in the final model would make a great addition to a national park. They went on to say that some of the sections effectively showed the sun angle, how the light will filter into the building, and how to mitigate the heat and light when it is not needed. You can tell the student gave a lot of thought to each aspect of the design. It led you to want to go there and experience the space. Please join in congratulating our 2020 Excellence in Design Student Honor Award recipient, Mateo Escobosa, and his faculty sponsor, Professor Mike Ryan. Hi, my name is Mateo Escobosa. I'd like to thank my professor and peers at Anne Arundel Community College and the jurors for taking time to review my design. Most of you who have attended our awards galas in the past have been witness to the vocals of one of our area's top performers, Kate Fleming. It wouldn't be a Chesapeake Bay Design Awards celebration without Kate, and she has been kind enough to record for us a special cover of a Fleetwood Mac favorite. Enjoy Kate's talents, grab a drink, answer nature's call, but be sure to return in two minutes for the rest of the program.
Welcome back. Thanks to Kate Fleming for a refreshing dose of the way it used to be. It's time for the professional award presentations. Many people outside of our profession take excellence in design for granted. The architects who enter our design awards program know firsthand the hard work that goes into creating projects that exceed the highest standards of design, meet code, incorporate resiliency, and please our clients. All entrants, whether recognized tonight or not, are to be commended on the immense amount of hard work and talent behind each project. Give yourself a round of applause. This year, our residential architecture category had 15 entries and non-residential architecture had nine entries. Within those categories, there were 18 new construction entries and six renovation addition entries. Firms who submitted projects came from Maryland's Eastern Shore, the Annapolis area, Baltimore, the DC metro area, and New York. The jury selected projects within each category that they felt were worthy of citation, merit, or honor awards, with honor being the highest level of award. The jury was also asked to consider, at their discretion, awarding projects that demonstrated exceptional historic preservation or sustainable design features. We are pleased the jury selected 38% of our projects worthy of recognition. Let's begin with our citation awards, of which there are four. Starting off our citation awards is an entry in the non-residential new construction category from Horde Copeland Mocked Architects in Baltimore, Maryland. The replacement of North Dorchester High School would be a two-fold challenge to the design team, create a hub for community amenities and public events, and provide an infrastructure for educational excellence that resonates with the community. Architecturally, the high school had to serve as a town hall and embrace the genius loci. The new 117,150 square foot building is configured in a modified H plan with two wings, each oriented with the long facades facing to the north and south. This allows rooms to receive the optimal north-south, supporting energy efficiency. The jurors felt the success of the project came from the architect's holistic approach to the town hall party. The design concept was manifested in the light-filled gathering space that became the hub of the school's daily activities and promoted a sense of community to the occupants. The design concepts were translated into the building massing and expression of the exterior forms. The architecture was simple in its details, but successfully celebrated the rural agrarian vernacular that seemed fitting for the site. Congratulations to Horde Copeland Macht and the team for their citation award. Hi, this is Peter Weinbrenner. I'm a principal with Horde Copeland Macht Architects and uh, the lead architect for the new North Dorchester High School. We're thrilled that the project has been recognized for design excellence um, for the Chesapeake Bay chapter of the AIA. This has been an incredibly important project for the county and we are thrilled to have been part of it. Um, so thank you very much for this honor. Tonight's second citation award goes to Davis, Bowen, and Fidel Incorporated in Salisbury, Maryland. The Rehoboth Beach City Hall Complex upgraded a functionally deficient public service safety facility located on Rehoboth Avenue. Most of the city's department operations were previously housed within four separate structures on site, while the other departments were located off site prior to construction. Some of these buildings had outlived their useful lives and were identified for replacement. Of most critical concern was the police department, obsolete by modern day public safety standards, since it also served as the area's 911 response unit. As the city's primary civic structure, it was a design priority to extend the scale and appeal of Rehoboth Avenue's historic streetscape. The team of jurors gave the project strong marks for its site design, aligning with sustainable urbanism principles and reflective of a community-based process that prioritized pedestrian experience and citizen access over automobiles and parking. The organization of the facade to provide distinct access for varied civic uses is a strong party, and the sense of civic space created in the interior is to be commended. The use of high quality materials in the building and the site design is appreciated and the building treats sustainability systems as a given part of the building program. The decision to renovate the existing Civic Center meeting hall 
but use an enlightened civic space, the Grand Corridor, in the interior to bring the pedestrian access out to Rehoboth Avenue is indicative of a nuanced understanding by the architects of the role that civic buildings play in a pedestrian-oriented Main Street. Congratulations to Davis, Bowen, and Ferdell and team on their Citation Award. I'm Mike Wigley. I'm with Davis, Bowen, and Friedel, and principal architect for the project. I'm very proud to be a part of it, working with a great team, most of it done in-house here at Davis, Bowen, and Friedel. Uh, Chris Cullen, AIA, handled the project management throughout the project. Alongside him, an associate AIM member, Carlos Moreno. And an especially big thank you goes to the city of Rehoboth Beach. Uh, they worked hand in hand throughout the project. We had a task force on their side that had 14 people, uh, which were terrific to work with monthly throughout the design process. Uh, that was led by the former mayor, Sam Cooper, uh, and, but instrumental throughout was the city manager, Sharon Lynn. And of course, one of the commissioners uh, that was very instrumental, who's current mayor, Stan Mills. Uh, so it was a terrific process. We're very proud to be part of this and thank you once again for the award. We're very honored. Thank you very much. In the category of residential new construction, Broadwater Cottage, designed by Alt Breeding Schwartz Architects of Annapolis, Maryland, is our next Citation Award recipient. The owners of a dilapidated 1940s cottage on the Magathy River wanted a house that spoke cottage, not only in style, but in experience. This classic reinterpretation of the quintessential Chesapeake Cottage was built around its number one priority, the porch. A river breeze drifts into the informal great room, whose character great bleached oak floors are pockmarked and veined. The house has four geothermal wells underneath the driveway and routing roof gutters to divert storm runoff into underground containment basins. The home's inner space is much like a tidal pool where friends, family, and all of the life eventually flow out onto the generous porch. The jurors felt this project should be commended on many aspects, including the simple and relaxed style, familiar and inviting indoor and outdoor spaces, and the quality of the craftsmanship. Each space appears to function separately, yet they all seem to flow effortlessly into and through one another. The design holistically maximizes the views and natural light and preserves the existing mature trees on the site. The jury appreciated the stylistic and simplicity of the detailing. Also, the sustainability measures discussed in the write-up are highly respected. The photography was very well done and the graphics of the site plan is inspiring. Overall, the architectural design and completed project was highly successful. Congratulations to Alt Breeding Shores Architects and Team for their Citation Award. Thank you so much. We're excited to be part of this award ceremony and to be uh, lauded for the beautiful Cohen Cottage. Uh, Operating Schwartz, we love our work. Uh, Michael and Sarah were the prime generators of this project. Again, thank you so much. Our final citation award goes to the Becker Morgan Group of Salisbury, Maryland for the residential renovation addition entry, Eastern Bay Escape. The design team approached this waterfront remodeling project as if it were new construction. Due to the Chesapeake Bay critical areas constraints, the existing home's footprint and a portion of the wall and roof structures were able to be maintained. The remodel introduced multiple outdoor living spaces, creating an additional 3,800 square feet of unconditioned entertaining space. Verandas on the east and west facades, a covered screen pavilion with convertible roll-down screen wall system, flanking pool cabana, outdoor showers, terraces, and a fire pit all exude the idyllic Chesapeake Bay summer lifestyle experience. The jurors felt this project clearly expressed a posture of grandeur. The original home was in desperate need of attention with a confused sense of style and outdated detailing. 
The interiors reveal the architect's success in bringing in abundant natural light and maximizing the breathtaking views. The colorful interior spaces are warm and inviting, and the detailing was impeccably done. The interior design works to harmonize the architecture with the attributes of the site and the qualities of a welcoming and flavorful home. The submission was solid and well presented. The jury appreciates the magnitude of the project and the opportunity to behold the hard work that went into this project. Congratulations to the Becker Morgan Group and their team on this citation award. Hello everyone. Hello. On behalf of Becker Morgan and the entire design team, we would like to thank the AIA Chesapeake Bay Chapter and the judges panel for this honor. We strive to exceed our clients' expectations by providing exceptional design services, resulting in projects that we could all be proud of. Residential architecture plays a huge role in shaping the lives of its inhabitants, and we do not take this charge lightly. We hope that each of our projects becomes an asset to its surroundings and the community. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. The next level of award is the Merit Award. Our jury generously recognized three projects as worthy of a Merit Award. The first Merit Award recognizes Grid Architects of Annapolis, Maryland for their non-residential new construction project, 107 Forbes. This office building is located between the historic core of the city of Annapolis and its West Annapolis neighborhood. The new structure had to fit essentially within the existing footprint and maintain similar bulk, height, and floor area. Where the replaced structure had a disjointed and inefficient floor plan, the new structure was designed specifically to achieve maximum efficiency and flexibility. Where the previous building's lower level had been partially submerged, the new building was lifted out of the ground and now offers panoramic views and gives its occupants the feeling of occupying space within an active and dynamic slice of the city. The shingle pattern is a subtle nod to nostalgia reflecting West Annapolis's unique history for those who reside within this close-knit community. The jurors were enamored with the simplicity of the building form and the integration of the project scale into the urban context and believe this was one of the most successful projects. The play on the building's wood shingled predecessor was successfully executed and uplifted the site's impact on its surroundings. The well-thought-out material selection and beautifully crafted exterior detailing allowed this contemporary building to subtly integrate into the site and the greater community. Congratulations to the team of Grid Architects for their Merit Award. Becker Morgan Group of Salisbury, Maryland has garnered a Merit Award for the Somerset County Technical High School, a non-residential new construction project. The massive 103,000 square foot LEED Gold Certified Career and Technology Facility provides an academic program for approximately 400 students in grades 8 through 12. The building is designed around career clusters to encourage collaboration between industries and increase student exposure to a variety of professions. In addition to classroom space, 3,000 gross square feet of collaboration space was designed for students to continue learning outside of the classroom. 
The school's mechanical, electrical, and plumbing systems are on display throughout the facility and were purposefully incorporated into the design as teaching tools. The jurors commented that the project, while simple in form and materials, had many layers of design complexity and detail that became more evident with every review. The exposed structure, building systems, and sustainable technologies gave the sense that it was a true laboratory for construction that allowed the occupants to see firsthand many of the trades that were being taught. While the project used very economical materials and a highly efficient space plan, it did not have an overtly institutional feel. Rather, the jurors felt it was very welcoming to the occupants and allowed for an engaging learning environment. Congratulations to the Becker Morgan Group and team for their merit award. On behalf of the entire design and construction team and especially Somerset County Public Schools, we're honored to accept this award. This project was certainly a team effort and the teamwork displayed by the staff and teachers of the school working hand in hand with us throughout the entire design process was inspiring. Everyone was driven by the knowledge and importance this project holds for the current and future students who will pass through its doors, providing the young people of Somerset County, an area of the state that has long suffered economically, with opportunities to learn and grow by acquiring life-changing skills was foremost on our minds while trying to create a facility that would inspire and act as a learning tool to enhance that experience. To quote Dr. Gaddis, the Somerset County Public Schools Superintendent, a school of this magnitude proves that we are committed to the academic and technical aspects of education in Somerset County. The building will change how we prepare our students for years to come. Our last merit award of the evening goes to Wiedemann Architects of Bethesda, Maryland for their residential new construction project, Waterfront Farm. This project is also the recipient of the jury's only historic preservation award. The restoration, reinterpretation, and expansion of a long-abandoned mid-19th century 100-acre farmstead on the eastern shore of Maryland. The entire project includes more than 20 new or renovated buildings. All buildings were modified or rebuilt to provide resilience from the risks of flooding due to rising sea level changes and employ state-of-the-art energy saving systems that will assure that the farm will survive well over a hundred years. The materials employed create a consistency throughout the farm. Time-tested, layered construction techniques apply rain screen technology to the traditional forms. Handmade local brick and locally sourced stone complete the material palette to create a whole that is more than the sum of its individual buildings. Out of the many very good projects the jurors reviewed, some naturally rose to the top. The sheer magnitude of this project and the fact that all of the many buildings were done to such a high degree of quality makes this project the most satisfying and enjoyable to review. The jury appreciated the fact that each page of the submission is so well crafted and thought out, and that each picture tells an amazing story of the farm's rebirth and evolution. The jurors greatly respect the dedication to historic preservation and sensitivity to fine detailing and recognize that this was an epic project. They commend the architectural team on a magnificent project well done. They encourage them to submit this at the national level as well. Congratulations to Wiedemann Architects and the team on their Merit Award and Historic Preservation Award. Hi, this is Greg Wiedemann and Barbara Sweeney from the Wiedemann Architects in Bethesda, Maryland. We'd like to extend a thank you to AIA Savannah, uh, the jury for selecting the waterfront home on the Eastern shore as a recipient of a Ch Chesapeake Bay chapter award this year. Uh, this project actually was begun almost 16 years ago and included 25 buildings on the farm culminating in the completion of the main house just this past year. So all of us at Wiedemann Architects want to thank you for the recognition. And finally, we want to thank our client who not only understands and appreciates good architecture, but encourages us to do good architecture. Thank you so much. Bye now. And now to our highest level of awards of the evening, 
the Honor Awards. We asked our jury to select two projects in the residential and non-residential categories that stood out from all others. Interestingly, both entries had thoughtful responses to the framework for design excellence questions, indicating that designing for integration, energy, equitable communities, water and resources are important to both architect and client. In the category of non-residential new construction, we are pleased to announce that Air St. Gross of Baltimore, Maryland has won an honor award for their project, Siemens Gridwald Environmental Hall, Washington College. This project also earned them the jury's only sustainability award. As the new home of the Washington College Center for Environment and Society, the building site is part of the watershed's coastal plain ecoregion. The building is designed to operate at net positive energy and to meet the holistic standards of Living Building Challenge PEDAL certification. It is expected to produce 105% of its energy needs on site, utilizing 300 rooftop photovoltaic solar panels and a ground source geothermal heating and cooling system. The building includes three innovative labs for teaching and research and a wet lab with a river flow through system that pumps water from the Chester River directly into the lab to be tested in a controlled environment. The simple modesty of form and materials recalls surrounding tidewater vernacular of boat sheds, warehouses, and fisheries common to the area. The jurors believe this design feels like it could be a renovation of a building that has occupied the site for 100 years. So well does it capture the character of the water setting and the surrounding area. The design works from an underlying traditional form that is reflective of the area, adding contemporary detailing and moments of surprise that establish the building as a true product of its time and environment. The structural expressionism, coupled with the warm palette of materials and the focus on sustainability create an inspiring setting for work and research. A simple design concept beautifully executed. Congratulations to Air St. Gross and team on this esteemed honor award and sustainability award. On behalf of Air St. Gross and the Siemens Griswold Environmental Hall design team, we are thrilled to accept this award. And this project has been a culmination of many years of, of campus planning that we've been engaged with the college. And all of our master planning efforts there on the core campus have always included this waterfront property. So it's, it's been especially gratifying to be able to help them turn that planning vision into reality by designing a building and a landscape that can serve as a model of responsible design. And its very mission is to support the future of the Bay and the environment in the region. I, honestly, it's been one of the highlights of our recent work together. The college's mission is really what allowed us to pursue the Living Building Challenge pedal certification and to incorporate a rooftop solar array on the building, which allows the building to be net positive for energy. Um, in addition to that, the simple form and materials inspired by the waterfront vernacular and the shadow patterns and richness all add to really the beauty of the site. So thank you again to the design jury and to Washington College for their commitment to the future of the Bay Region. In the category of residential new construction, we are pleased to announce that Martin's Grell Architects of Brooklyn, New York has won for their project North Point Residence. Located on Maryland's charming eastern shore, North Point Residence is a four-bedroom, 3,750-square-foot waterfront home on the banks of the Tread Avon River. The home's design employs a language of intersecting rectangular forms and interior-to-exterior planes to express the clean modern lines the client desired. A main access runs along the pathway to the house entrance through the main doorway and foyer and immediately out to a greenery filled court with a fire pit and water views beyond. The choice of a gable roof serves as a reference to historic Maryland tobacco farms. The jurors felt this was a very nice project. The exterior is reserved but reinforces the character of the site and the natural landscape around it. The material palette is warm and luxurious yet reserved and muted to reflect the character of the landscape around the site. The interior is open but with a degree of architectural separation of different functional spaces that is often lost in contemporary upscale residences seeking to be modern. While the residence is approaching 4,000 square feet, every space appears scaled to the activity within it, 
leaving the viewer with an unexpected sense of coziness for a large dwelling. Efforts undertaken to practice sustainable design principles are appreciated, and the site and landscape design is subtle and natural. Great design, flawlessly done. Congratulations to Martins Grell Architects PLLC and team on their honor award. Hey everyone. I'm Erica Martins. And I'm Daniel Grell. And we're Martins Grell Architects, and the project we submitted is North Point Residence. We are a husband and wife team based out of Brooklyn, New York, less than five years old, and this is our first AIA award. So this is a huge milestone for us. We were so excited when we got the email. I got it first. I walked over to Daniel's desk, clutching my phone in my hand. I was completely silent, but had this huge smile on my face. And he turns and looks at me and says, why are, why are you acting, acting so strange? strange? So I show him the email, and pretty soon we're both just jumping up and down, so excited, so grateful. When you're such a small operation, to know that someone sees and appreciates your work, it's a very special feeling, especially when you pour your heart and soul into it from start to finish. This project was very much a labor of love for us. We actually even got involved in a few building projects along the way. So we're just so happy to be able to share the home with you guys. Special shout out to the AIA for putting on this special design awards virtually. Thank you. Thank you guys. Our final award tonight goes to the Design Awards entry that has won the most votes in our online People's Choice balloting. This year's Professional People's Choice Award is sponsored by Lynbrook of Annapolis, a valued longtime allied member of the chapter. We are pleased to announce that the recipient of the 2020 AIA Chesapeake Bay People's Choice Award is the Keslow Group for their residential new construction project, Y River Respite. Congratulations. This year, the four components that comprise AIA in Maryland are launching a joint initiative to enhance and promote our Excellence in Design Awards winners through the creation of a new online digital gallery featuring our award-winning projects. The site will incorporate images and videos from the projects with highlights of key project details. This initiative will elevate the profile of architectural design by attracting a larger audience to our projects over a longer period of time, thereby offering a valuable marketing and public relations opportunity for our members and their clients. Watch for news about the launch later this year. Sponsors for this new venture support all four components of AIA in Maryland. Thank you to our premier sponsors, the Whiting Turner Contracting Company, Home and Design Magazine, and Lee Shoemaker. We're happy for the opportunity to recognize your generous support of our digital campaign, which is greatly appreciated. Many thanks to our patron sponsors, Sub-Zero Group Mid-Atlantic, and Site Resources. And finally, to our supporter level sponsors, Allegion and Think Make Build. Our premier sponsors were given the opportunity to record a special announcement for our Design Awards celebration statewide. Here is a word from one of our friends at Home and Design Magazine. Since 1999, Home and Design Magazine has been the region's premier showcase for fine home design. We offer a voice for the design community and encourage consumers to choose design professionals. See more at homeanddesign.com. This brings our awards program to a close. Thank you to everyone who entered. Be sure to announce and share your award if you were one of tonight's recipients. To all our sponsors, thank you from the bottom of our hearts for making tonight possible. Thanks again to AIA President-Elect Peter Exley for an inspiring message. Many thanks to our videographer Chris Lang of Horde Copeland Mocked Architects and to Kate Fleming for her musical performance. A very special thanks to our former Executive Director Melinda Kay as well as our new Executive Director Camille Simino for putting this virtual design awards program together. If you'd like to serve on a committee of AIA Chesapeake Bay Chapter, please email our Executive Director, Camille Simino. Our annual meeting will be held virtually this year on December 2nd and will feature voting for our 2021 Board of Directors and present our newly revised bylaws. If you would like to submit a nomination for our Board of Directors, 
Look for an email soon with instructions. And as always, don't forget to make a donation to the Maryland Architects Pack on the AIA Maryland website for doing great work with our state legislators. On behalf of the Board of Directors of AIA Chesapeake Bay, thank you for joining us. I am your MC, Kevin Schertz, AIA of Davis Bowen and Friedel in Salisbury, Maryland, bidding you good night.